The M1 Garand rifle is an iconic weapon that performed a significant role in United States military history. Initially developed by Canadian-American engineer John C. Garand, the M1 Garand was officially adopted as the primary infantry rifle of the United States Armed Forces in 1936. The M1 Garand is known for its semi-automatic system design, allowing soldiers to shoot faster and more efficiently compared to the bolt-action rifles common at the time. The rifle employed an on-block clip to hold and feed its shells. Holding eight cartridges, the on-block clip was directly inserted into the rifle's magazine, expediting the reloading process and making the weapon more efficient in combat. As soon as all the cartridges were fired, the empty clip was automatically ejected, allowing the quick insertion of a new clip. The M1A1 is one of the Thompson submachine gun's many versions. First introduced in 1942, the M1A1 was a scaled-down and less expensive version of the M1928 model that was a gangster favorite, already in use prior to the United States' entry into World War II on a lesser extent. The Thompson M1A1 was a popular weapon among infantry soldiers, paratroopers, and special forces. The Tommy was a 45 caliber automatic firearm, fed by a detachable 30-round magazine. The submachine gun was an assault weapon by design. It had an impressive performance in urban battles and for clearing trenches. Its good firing rate also provided good suppressive fire support. This is why the Thompson machine gun was extremely reliable, and why it became one of the favorite weapons of American soldiers. Its versatility and power made it one of World War II's most iconic weapons. The K-Bar is an iconic combat knife that rose to fame during World War II. Before the K-Bar was developed, the United States military used several different combat knives, many of which had issues in durability and performance in combat situations. The knife was engineered to be more durable and versatile than its predecessors, featuring a 17.8cm carbon steel blade and a leather handle. The blade had a strengthened tip and partially serrated edge for improved cutting and piercing. The knife was often used to break open ration cans, cut ropes, and carry out other menial tasks on the battlefield. The K-Bar, however, was also an effective weapon for hand-to-hand -hand combat and self-defense, particularly in situations where firearms were not convenient or available. The M1 Carbine is a lightweight semi-automatic weapon designed and developed in the United States during the 1930s and used extensively during World War II. Engineered by David Marshall Williams, the M1 carbine appeared as a more compact and easier to handle alternative to the standard combat rifles of the time. The necessity for a smaller, more versatile weapon came from the urge to improve the troops' mobility and responsiveness in a range of several types of combat. The M1 was able to fire in semi-automatic mode, allowing for a faster firing cadence compared to bolt-action weapons. It was specifically suited for officers, gunners, communicators, and other military personnel who required a smaller, easier-to-carry firearm. U.S. paratroopers treasured the M1 due to its compact size, making it easier to jump and carry on the field. The Mark II grenade, also known as the Pineapple, was a fragmentation grenade extensively used by the United States Armed Forces during World War II. The Mark II grenade was a defensive fragmentation grenade, projected to inflict enemy casualties by delivering metal fragments at high velocity after detonation. The Mark II was activated by means of a fuse and detonator system. The soldier would pull the safety pin and let go of the lever, triggering the detonation process. Once the lever was freed, a short pyrotechnic delay of approximately 4 to 5 seconds enabled the soldier to throw the grenade a safe distance before the explosion. The grenade was used in a broad variety of combat situations, such as attacks on fortified enemy positions, urban warfare, clearing enemies from trenches and buildings, and positional defense. The bazooka, officially known as the M1 anti-tank rocket launcher, was a portable anti-tank weapon and came into service with the U.S. Army in 1942. It had a substantial impact on the battlefield, supplying soldiers with a portable and effective attack power against enemy armored vehicles. Two soldier squads often deployed the bazooka, a rifleman, and an assistant who carried additional ammunition and helped reload the weapon. The bazooka had a 60mm caliber and employed a rocket with a hollow charge warhead shaped to penetrate enemy vehicle armor. The hollow charge permitted the rocket to gather the blast energy at a single point, increasing its penetration capability. 
Boasting an effective range of 150 meters, the weapon proved most effective against most enemy armored vehicles of the time, such as tanks, armored cars, and bunkers. The Browning Automatic Rifle, known as the BAR, was an automatic firearm developed by renowned American inventor John Browning in late World War I and adopted by the United States Army in 1918. The BAR was an air-cooled automatic rifle fed by a detachable magazine with a 20-round capacity. The weapon used a .30-06 Springfield caliber. The gun had an adjustable bipod, enabling the gunner to lean in on the ground to increase stability and accuracy during automatic firing. The weapon was prized for its reliability and worked well in harsh conditions. Its maintenance was low. Its firepower and ability to maintain a sustained volume of fire on the battlefield were praised. And, even though the bar was quite heavy and expensive to manufacture, it became a key weapon for infantry support. The M2 flamethrower served an instrumental role in several American campaigns during the Second World War. This incendiary weapon was mainly used to attack enemy fortified positions such as bunkers, trenches, and underground fortifications. The M2 flamethrower comprised two cylindrical tanks assembled on the operator's back, connected to a hose and a launch hose. The tanks filled with a mixture of thickened gasoline, known as napalm, and pressurized propellant gas, such as nitrogen. The operator would hold the launch canister and pull a trigger to release the incendiary compound, ignited by a pilot light at the end of the tube. Serving as a flamethrower operator was one of World War II's most dangerous roles, as he was vulnerable to enemy attacks that could lead to exploding fuel tanks. The weapon also had an effective range limited to between 20 and 40 meters, and it required the handler to get dangerously close to enemy positions to be effective. The Browning M1919 was an air-cooled, bolt-operated mid-machine gun that featured the 30 caliber bullet. The weapon was versatile and could be mounted on tripods, vehicles, and aircraft, and was used extensively on various battlefronts. The M19's firing rate ranged from 400 to 600 rounds per minute, according to the specific model, and was powered by an ammunition belt, making for rapid and continuous firing. Despite being light compared to other models, the M1919 required the use of a tripod or steady mount to guarantee stability and accuracy while firing. The weapon was used extensively to provide suppressive fire, aiding in keeping the enemy pinned down and enabling troops to advance. Owing to its efficiency, the machine gun was also used in the Korean War and even the beginning of the Vietnam War, after which it was replaced. The M1911 Colt pistol was the United States Armed Forces' primary service pistol, escorting soldiers in conflicts around the world, including World War I, World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. Its reliability, usability, and powerful 45 caliber made it a popular and well-respected weapon by military and civilians alike. Many soldiers trusted the M1911 as a secondary weapon for close-range combat or as a last resort in critical situations. The M1911's straightforward design and serviceability also made it a popular choice among field troops, who frequently faced extreme conditions and hostile environments.